video high key i was gonna start this video off um talking about the intro like doing the thing and then it automatically fades and it has this loud blast sound that's so crazy this game is loud i'm probably gonna have to fix that in post-processing um async well i'll do full screen that's fine it's not poor oh i just closed the game um every hello everybody my name is crispy welcome to finance the candies 2. now this game has been out for like a good what four years five years maybe i don't know it's been like a good no way longer than five years i think like seven years i think anyway it's been probably like a good seven years since this game released and someone made a remade sugar what sugar rush version of it that i think recodes it and i think just makes it all around better which you could already see from here you know because obviously the game didn't have any of this and i don't think it had game jewel um id support so with that being said let's hop in new game i've never played this game this is one of the only candies games I never touched um and it's weird because i do like the premise of this one hey are you there do i have to type well, you lost the bet. Per usual. I have the best luck. You know what that means. You have to spend five nights in the old factory again. Okay, the dialogue moves at its own pace. Or else pe people will think you're a chicken. Scared? All right, first night. Let's use the camera. Okay. Oh, I didn't get to read that entire thing. This is kind of great. Do I have key key lines? Hey, Marie. Eric here. My peeps told me I had to call you to make sure you were actually at the factory. So, are you at the factory? Actually, don't answer that. I can tell from the ambient noises coming through your phone that you are. <laughs> Did you also tell your rent we're going to stay over at Tina's place for the next five nights? Because you better. I know firsthand how protective your mom is, and the last thing we need is her berating us for something that is, honestly, your fault. <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty easy bet, so I can't believe you lost it. <laughs> Anyways, I checked the place out myself earlier today, you know, to make sure there wasn't anything that would actually kill you, and I found out that this place surprisingly still has some of its power on, mostly for the lights and security system. But don't ask me who still pays the electricity bill. Because of that, you also can't go anywhere outside of the warehouse department without a key card, which means you're probably in that gigantic hallway with no light bulbs for some reason. I mean, hey, that does ensure it's scarier for you. What's that? You found a working camera tablet. Well, ain't that handy. If my assumptions are correct, then it's gotta be an SASS system. SASS. One of the most commonly used security systems by companies because of how cheap they work. If that is the case, then that also means the cameras are connected with all the phones in this building. Yeah, I'll be real with you. I have no idea why they thought that feature was a good idea, other than the fact that security guards used to prank call all the employees in that room. Oh, by the way, since you're in the warehouse department and this was a robot manufacturing factory after all, there probably are some old robots from decades ago that nobody cares about anymore. Too bad you can't see them, though, because of them being hidden inside the storage rooms, which can also only be accessed by keycard, so only something from the inside can open it. But since the power for this place is still on, there may be a possibility that some of the robots are still partially active. If that is true, then you start seeing old robots from crappy old restaurants walking around, maybe you can use that phone thing on your camera to prank call them. I mean, that is a better option than just sleeping through the whole night, right? One more thing before I go. If you really don't like sitting around in a pitch black hallway, you could use that flashlight from your cell phone to light it up. But it probably wouldn't work because of the condition of your phone. I mean, I've seen you drop it so many times, it's a miracle it still works at all. Girl. And I remember you tried to use the flashlight feature once, but all it gave out was a big flash. But I guess that is better than nothing, I suppose. Oh my god. Alright, I've been talking long enough now, and I really gotta go to sleep now if I don't want to fall on my desk in class tomorrow. Remember, at 6 a.m. you can storm out of there and feel proud of yourself for not being a chicken. So, good night. What? No. Oh, I'm alone. Alright, Mercola. 
Oh my god. Yo, that j Ooh. Hi, Marie, 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 Marie. Hey, 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 hey. Marie. Marie, Marie. Miss Monroe. Let's Do I have to be in the camera to... Hey! Lady! So? You gonna go get that? No? Okay! Lady, listen. Oh, hi. Hi. Aren't they so sweet when they don't go away? I don't know what I should really be doing. Um, because as I said, never played this game. Ooh. Oh, where are you at? You chasing the phone. You chased that phone, kitty. I have no idea where I should be sending you. Because you won't go up here. You'll only go between these two cameras. And I'm terrified. Uh. Crap. This is all I got. You people have no idea how terrified I am. When you don't know what you're doing, that's the worst feeling you can ever have. I say we look at each other in our beautiful, beautiful eyes. But you, you see, Cindy, right? I think we should look each other in our beautiful, beautiful eyes till the end of the night. Oh my God. And we we sit here and we just talk about girl problems. I, I, thank you. Wow, Malika said something crazy. That scared the crap out of me. She was so close. She literally spawned in, in front of me. And hit me with a, hi, how are ya? Like, bro. Step it back. Your breast smell. Search. I do remember these existing. Is that candy? Old candy? Oh, so my mouse is going to be all up in the screen, bro. I'm so sorry. This is just going to have to happen. Like, I, I really don't. I might. I can turn that off in OBS, I'm pretty sure. And I'm probably going to do it. Starting now. Are there hair follicles on this? Or is it just weird drawing lines? Oh, thank you. 1989. Oh yeah, buddy. High five. My thing is all up in the middle of the screen, bro. Let me chill. Oh yeah, nothing inconspicuous can possibly happen. That was kind of loud, it actually scared me. My left arm felt that too. Oh wow, and it brings me back to the menu. Thank God, thank you developer. So I can do two nights in one video and not have to worry about editing it out. Yeah, you caught the crispy hotline. How can we hit you? Hey Marie, it's Eric again. Yeah. I won't talk that much today because I gotta watch my sleep schedule more often. But I did want to say congratulations for that first night. I mean, when you showed up in class today, you really didn't act like anything scary happened to you. Though I am a bit curious why you didn't want to share anything of what you saw with us. But hey, you can keep it to yourself all I care. Anyways, I checked the place out again after school to see if you had done anything there. Despite the fact that I found nothing, I did start to notice a pattern of events. Like, I'm sure if you were to check the cameras right now, you would start to notice that there's a vent in every single room. 
Chester. The size of them. You could probably crawl inside them if you wanted to. No, it's not really that important, so just forget about it. Oof. Oh, by the way, those robots I told you about. I know I said last night you could prank call them by using a phone and one of the cameras to get their attention. But I think if you used it while a robot was already inside one of those rooms doing something, that would probably scare it off somewhere else. That's all for the night. Just do what you did last night. You should be just fine. See you tomorrow. So she can't go from here to here. Guys, got guys, 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 got. Okay. Cindy. Hey, got yeah. Wait, can I? Yeah, no more vandalism, boy. Oh, you're gone. Yeah, can I move you in here? Can I move you in here? Oh my god, that actually... That didn't work. Cindy? Cindy? Hey, whoa, whoa, hey. Oh my gosh, Chester, 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 Chester. I couldn't focus on you right there because I had Marilyn Schmidt did not show up for school yesterday. Isn't that the girl you play as in three? After she had allegedly been staying overnight with her friends in this weekend, in, in this week, Marilyn's friends later revealed, okay. the girl you play as in three and i think i don't think you play as her do you play as her in one i know that she's the daughter of mike that's it hey marie it's eric again shut up mike i mean eric <laughs> i'll probably keep this part in it, it's not gonna take too long hopefully i actually don't know how to play this though um because it doesn't seem like she goes from here to here whenever i call the room And I'm not really entirely sure what the point of uh, this middle section really is. So, like, if I call her up here, she won't relocate up here. She'll relocate down here. But if I call her in here, then she'll come back here. Which almost makes me think I had to lure her over here and then lure her to camp 15 and then like let her go unless, unless I go or let her go down here, call her to camp 16 and then Sydney. Why don't we look into each other's eye? So for your example, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, hi, Cindy. Hi. Look, your eyes. Oh, Cindy, listen. I know we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, see, Cindy. Listen, Cindy. Let's get real here. Let's get serious, right? I know we just met. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Chester. Can girls not be girls? Like, I'm just. Let me let me shut up, bro. I don't know. That, I don't know that song like I like I should, bro. Why? Cindy. Okay. 
I gotta really understand how this works. Please let me go. Listen, Cindy. We can talk day and night. But it won't. Oh. Cindy! Oh, I'm cooked. Cindy, 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 grab the phone. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy! <sighs> Cindy, that was a close one. That was a close one there, Cindy. That was a close one. We almost let it get away, am I right? So, what I was talking about before, though, was like, mess with your boy, you know? Oh, I mean, mess with your girl here, you know, right? Because girls get it done. Cindy, Cindy, go, go, Cindy, go, Cindy, go, Cindy, thank you. You're awesome, Cindy. So, can she just answer a phone from any room? So, she can answer a call from any room. I was playing her like spring trap, and that's why I wasn't getting her. But it seems like... Cindy... Cindy, listen. I need to get that phone for me, Miss Sweeney. What's going on here? Penguin's active, finally. Cindy, listen, me and you, we've been talking all night, right? And it's like, at this point, I think we're more than friends. I think we're besties. And I don't think besties kill each other. So I, I think we should let this whole... Thank God. <laughs> I was running out of jokes. I was running out of like my one-liner. I never had to fight for my life against a cat before, which I don't even like at all. So it's... Day and night, right? Return? You got it. <laughs> Sneeze. Penguin. That's not good, is it? Wait, can I like... Do I have to carry them all one by one, or...? It doesn't matter. I wish... Tengu would walk, 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 walk a little bastard. Come on now. Alright, give me give me a little bit more reason to explore the pizzeria, I guess. The burgeria, whatever. I saw um Popco's. I wanted to make a Popco's video, bro. I really did. I might still make it. But it might be a different one from what I the one I'm wanting to make. If I do, it'll be talking about why Popcos is like the best FNAF fan game. And if that performs Hey Blake. If that performs well enough, I'll do a video on specifically on um one of the characters. Because there's a character from Popcos that's absolutely my favorite in honestly gaming period, but um He's my favorite character in all of any FNAF. I don't know how I'd name it though, right? It's Simon specifically. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It's Simon. I do. I. I. I which I don't see people talk about the fact um, that Pop Goes is insanely unique. Like I, people don't talk about that enough. I feel like. Um. I know I'm talking. I'm playing candies. We'll talk about a whole other game. It's like talk about your side chick, which you when you when you with your main chick. But like you know, it's just. People don't talk about how good or, and how original uh, Pop Goes writing is. And I really hope that Evergreen really brings that home. And um, I also think it's really cool how Pop Goes and Candies are in the same universe, I'm pretty sure. Boom. It didn't get me this time. And there we go.
Alright, so, I'm gonna leave this for this video because I also don't feel like playing more. It's pretty late at night. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Please, show you play some loud. See you guys next time. Peace.